Hi, my name is James Houston, Director of Maintenance here at Garner Trucking, and today we're going to talk about the WEX Fuel app. It's very critical that every driver has that downloaded on their phone and is aware how to use it. The only way that you are going to be able to tell the exact price of the fuel you're purchasing is through the app. Looking at the sign does you no good because you're not going to know what our discount is. Uh, currently, we've been asking you to go to Love's because our discounts there are much higher than they are with pilots. But if Love's are not available, you need to be able to look on the app and see where is the next lowest fuel price that you can get at a truck stop. Sometimes it may be a pilot, sometimes it may be a TA or a Petro or a Flying J, but the only way you can tell is using the WEX app. You can put in there your, your starting point and your destination. It'll give you all of the pricing of every truck stop between point A and point B of your trip. If you look for the green dot, the green dot will be the lowest fuel price in the route that you're taking. So it's important that you look at that and try and plan your trip before you even leave. That way you know where you're gonna stop, you know where the cheapest fuel is, and there's no decision making. There's no um, looking at every sign of every truck stop you pass, trying to see which is the lowest price. And again, the price on the sign means nothing because that's not what we're paying. So every driver, regardless of how often you come through the shop, you need to have the WEX app downloaded on your phone um, so that you are aware how much we're actually paying. Uh, Josh Ramirez, our IT director, is going to take you through from start to finish how to use the app. Thank you. Okay, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up your app store. If you're using Android, it's the Google Play Store and you're gonna to wanna to search for WEX card control. And right here, this is what it looks like. So you wanna download that. When that's done, you open. For the card number, you're gonna to wanna to enter the full 19 digits that's on the front of your card. If you have not logged in with your card before, then the initial PIN or passcode will be the last four digits of the card number. And then once you log in, it will ask you to update that PIN. You can make it any four digits you want as long as it's not the last four of the card. If you have logged in before but you don't remember your PIN, please reach out to us and we can help you reset that. Okay, so we'll ask about using a Face ID it's your preference there. It will also ask you about completing a profile. You can skip this if you'd like. Notifications. Okay, so the home screen, you have your recurring cash, your one-time cash, and your recent transactions. Up here in the top left, you can come up here and change your PIN whenever you need to. Here's your transactions tab where you can see approved and rejected transactions. The Find Field tab, the first time you open this, it will ask you about using your location. Make sure you allow the app to use your location. Once it finds your location, you have two options where you can search nearby for fuel or you can search for fuel along a route. The first time you click Search Nearby, it will find stations within five miles. If you hit this filter button right here, you can change that range to 25 miles. You can also change the show to stations only with the prices and you can sort by price. Hit apply. As you can see it's going to look for stations within 25 miles of my current location and then you have a map here. You also have a list here. So as you can see this one has the cheapest fuel. So if you click on that it will show you the price, your savings, the retail price, and it also gives you the address right here. So if you search along a route, you can use your current location. You can enter a destination. I'll just do uh, Toledo, Ohio. You can search. 
It will give you a list of stations along that route. The one that has the green around it is going to be the cheapest fuel that's on your route. You can also come over here into filters and you can change your location range again. You can show stations only with pricing. You sort by price. So this will search five miles off of your route. And then you can see the one with the green is going to be your cheapest along your route. So once again, if you click on it, it will show you the price savings, the retail price, and an address for you to use. So Josh has shown you how to uh, download the app, how to use the app, how to navigate through the app. Again, it's so critical that you're using this app. It saves the company a great deal of money. It should make your trip better because, you're again, you're going to know where you're stopping ahead of time. So please, please, please use your WEX app for fuel. Thank you.